Just gotta keep checking to make sure I'm not gonna get murdered from behind. I think we're good. <laughs> everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is JC and I've missed you all. Happy 2021. I took a brief intermission after Vlogmas because that was kind of hard, but I couldn't, I couldn't stay away from you guys. I just couldn't do it. So in today's video, as I'm sure you saw by the thumbnail, we are taking a little road trip. So if you watched any of my Vlogmas videos, you know I was talking a lot about just kind of getting away and unplugging, and I will be doing that this weekend. But I wanted to bring you guys along in case I get lonely. <laughs> So we are actually headed to Tucson, Arizona today. And I'll tell you a little bit more about why I'm headed there when we're actually on the trip. But I'm kind of I'm kind of running a little bit behind schedule. I wanted to leave at like six in the morning. It's nine. <laughs> but last night was New Year's Eve my time. So I was up late, you know, doing some virtual calls with friends, popping some champagne. So I'm late, but I'm, I'm not sorry. It's only, it's my trip. I can do what I want. Uh, but we're gonna head out, we gotta load up the car. Let me show you all that we have. So here's all my stuff. Now before you think, JC, that's a lot for just a quick weekend trip for one person. You're right, but also hear me out. So I'm gonna be doing something similar to when I went to Descanso Gardens where I just took a bunch of photos of myself and used it on Instagram over the next couple months because I'm smart and lazy. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, so the pink bag is just full of a bunch of different outfits and outfit changes. I have my ring light over there because hotel lighting kind of sucks. This is my tech backpack with all my camera and laptop stuff. And then I have a cooler and another bag for a special surprise later for me. Well, it's not a surprise for me. I'll just tell you guys along the way, but I'm kind of running behind schedule. So we just got to load up the car and I'll tell you more about it when we're on the road. So let's head out. Also, my stress zit is still here. It's been like a month. I don't, I don't know you guys. I'm currently in line at Starbucks, so I can tell you a little bit more while we're waiting in line about this trip. First of all, my go-to order at Starbucks whenever I'm on a road trip is some type of Frappuccino. It's because it lasts longer. If it, I got an ice drink or a hot drink, I would chug that and it would be gone in an hour. But in a blended one, it lasts me longer. So it's the only time I treat myself to basically a coffee milkshake. So we're gonna see what, what fun flavors they have. But a little bit more about why I'm going to Arizona. So after Vlogmas, I knew I wanted to take um, some type of little staycation or a little road trip or something just to kind of get away and unplug. There's not really very many places you can travel to right now, or there's not that much you can do to the places you can go to. I knew I didn't want to hop on an airplane. So I was actually looking into doing like maybe an Airbnb in San Diego or somewhere where I can just like feel like I'm on a little getaway, but it's not really that big of a deal. During this time, I had somebody reach out to me on Instagram and be like, oh my gosh, I would love to do your eyebrows because she does microblading eyebrows. And we just kind of got to chatting and I was like, I've always wanted to do my eyebrows, but homegirl, you are in Tucson, Arizona. And she was like, I know. Well, if you're ever in the area, like let me know, maybe we can get your brows done. And kind of impulsively, I was like, well, how about this weekend? <laughs> And she was like, sure, I'll book you. So I ended up booking an eyebrow appointment. So I'll be getting some powder brows. I will probably be doing a separate video about that if you're interested. Um, but that's kind of like the main purpose of why I chose Tucson because I wouldn't have considered it. It's about eight hours away from LA, uh, which is kind of long, but road trips and driving to me is kind of therapeutic. Like I love the idea of just putting on some music, putting on some podcasts and just driving. One of my best friends lives up in San Francisco and I prefer to drive to go see him than to fly because to me I can just like turn off my brain and and I don't, I can't turn it off. I'm driving, but you know what I mean? It's just very like I can be alone with my own thoughts and kind of recharge and unplug. So I just like it. I like road trips. So that's kind of like why we're going to Arizona. Long winded answer. Good golly. I'm sick of hearing myself talk. I'm just going to get my Starbucks and then we're going to head out on the road. And the next time I see you, we'll probably be for McDonald's because I'll get hungry in an hour. Okay. Bye. All right, so we stopped at In-N-Out. 
on the way. I'm just a little bit past Palm Springs, so about two hours into my drive. But I figured it was safer to talk to you guys pulled over and not me driving while eating. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. So I wanted to share with you some tips I have when you're traveling alone. I personally love traveling alone because you don't have to compromise anything. You can literally do whatever you want. And it's the best because the trip is completely up to you. You don't have to decide, well, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, I wanna eat here, I wanna eat there. So I love traveling alone. But one of my main tips that I have for traveling alone is, because oftentimes you don't necessarily have a scheduled plan, you're kinda just winging it, I always prioritize things into three categories. That would be your lodging, your experiences, and your food. So with these three categories, for every trip I go on, I always pick one that's gonna be my priority. So for example, this trip I'm going to Arizona and I know there's not much I can do out there, so my experience score is gonna be really low. So I splurged a little bit on my hotel room because that's where I know I'm gonna be spending the most time for my trip. Conversely, I've been on a trip with friends where we went to Chicago and we all agreed we were gonna get deep dish pizza every single meal. So food was our main priority in that instance. So we kind of deprioritized our experience score. So we did a lot of free things that trip. They have a free zoo in Chicago. We also like just walked around a mall, walked around the city. So that way you're kind of just balancing everything out. I just try to pick one category to prioritize and spend my money that way. Of course, you can balance all three categories exactly the same and just kind of like keep them all the same priority but I just kind of like to compartmentalize and it just helps me realize what I want to focus on for the trip so that's tip number one when you're traveling alone is kind of focus on a category it's kind of starting to get hot in my back seat so I think I'm just gonna take this on the road to go and turn on the AC so see you on the next stop all right I am now out in the middle of nowhere Arizona yay I think I'm about three hours away so more than halfway done so home stretch here but coming at you with another tip I have is when you're taking a road trip specifically, make sure that you have all of your in-car entertainment ready to go. So make sure that you have your playlists made, that you have any podcasts you want already downloaded. That way you're not messing with your phone while you're driving or using data if you didn't pre-download everything. I would also recommend making appointments with friends and family to give them a phone call. So I'm the kind of person where if you'd call me just out of the blue, I'm usually doing something. And if you wanna sit down and chit chat, I'm probably already busy. So you need to give me a little bit of a heads up. So that's what I like to do. I like to give some friends and family, shoot them a text like, hey, can I call you in an hour? That way they can mentally prepare, set aside some time, and then it usually makes for a longer lasting conversation. And of course, another obvious tip is to just get out and stretch. Stretch your legs, get some vitamin D, and get gas, because uh, that's what I'm doing here. So there's, there's the gas station. So I'm not in a completely random dirt parking lot. I'm in a big old truck gas station. But get some gas, pull over, get a snack, just kind of like stretch out so that way you're not falling asleep and getting too bored. Not getting rickets. There's another dog. All right, so three more hours. Let's go. Hello, it has been several hours since you last saw me. I got to my hotel at about seven o'clock and it is now 10 p.m. But that's because I kind of just relaxed for a little bit, scrolled on the gram for a minute, and then I showered and got ready so I can do my little photo shoot right now. So like I mentioned before, I'm trying to get just a ton of photos to use over the next few weeks, and I will be using this hotel room as my backdrop. So one of the things that I needed was a prop, but not just any prop, dinner. So this was my surprise earlier. This is what I brought in my cooler. So like I mentioned, I have categories and my priority category this trip was splurging a little bit on my hotel room. So I knew I wouldn't be going out to eat as much because food wasn't that big of a deal for me. So I brought some food from home. So I had a ton of charcuterie board fixings because I actually got cheese as a gift for Christmas. Um, which I'll actually explain in an upcoming video because I'm going to do a whole other charcuterie board video. You guys know I love my charcuterie. But it just made sense to save a little bit of money, bring what I had. But it also just makes for like a fancy little hotel dinner. Like I'm excited to eat this and use it as a prop. So we are just going to take a bunch of photos tonight in my hotel room as well as probably tomorrow morning. And maybe I'll let you guys get a little sneak peek, sneak peek. So remember to make sure to follow me so you can see these in the next few weeks. Good morning. It is the next morning. I took some pictures last night, but I started feeling weird because I was like, should I be posting photos of me in a hotel? You know, it's not 
like it's not the best thing to be traveling right now. It just felt a little tone deaf. So I kind of got self-conscious and stopped taking photos. Um, but I still liked how the photos turned out. So I'm gonna use one as like a thumbnail, but I'm torn if I should post them. Is that tone deaf? Can you guys let me know? Um, I've had people message me like, oh, what are you doing in Arizona? And I message them like, oh, it's like a modeling gig. Like I'm getting my eyebrows done. But that, I don't know, I'm just torn. Cause I was like, that's not a very good reason to be traveling. Even though I'm by myself, I'm taking all the necessary precautions. I don't know, man, weird times, weird times. I was about to say 2020 is crazy, but it's 2021 now. Anyway, so I decided I'm gonna be, continue to take some photos, but I'm gonna make them more evergreen, meaning they could be anywhere at any time in my own apartment for anybody knows it's not hotel related. So I'm gonna use like the little accent chair that I'm looking at, the desk sort of thing, but that's what I've decided. So I'll let you guys sneak in on that. And then we have our eyebrow appointment in just an hour, but let me show you my hotel room. It's kind of cool. So in this corner, I have a cute little accent chair and table that I'll probably take pictures with. I have my tripod and ring light right there. There's a big old desk and chair and mirror, so maybe some photos there. Then from this direction, we have a TV, the dresser, and you guys can't really tell, but there is a ton of room. Like this is a big hotel room, which is kind of cool. Then over here, you got your microwave, coffee maker, mini fridge, all that good stuff. And just a normal stand-up walk-in shower. Nothing exciting here. Except me! Hi! Hi guys, hi! All right, let's go. So, very comfy hotel. So yeah, really nice hotel. Hotel beds are the best, you know? Like, I slept, it felt like I slept for 30 seconds because I was just out like a light, and these blackout curtains were scary blackout. Like, my alarm rang at nine this morning, and I was like, no, it's like midnight, what are you talking about? That's how dark it was in here, so good stuff. That's why I like hotel rooms. But let's take some photos. <gasps> ah! Why is my tripod leg not secured? It is the next day. As you can see, I got my eyebrows done, but of course they're looking a little harsh because it's only the day after getting them done. Make sure to stay tuned for that video where I kind of go a little bit more in depth about this whole process if you're interested. But yeah, I have to check out of my hotel right now. I just kind of vegged out all weekend. I tried to unplug and it was very therapeutic. It was really nice to just kind of like sit in a hotel bed, watch my movies that are on the HBO channel and just kind of like, be alone, you know? It was really nice, I had a good time. But I thank you guys so much for watching. This is gonna be the end of my Arizona trip from here. I hope that you'll join me for future videos to kind of see what else I'm up to. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Toodles! I am an in and out stan, mainly because this burger, this double-double burger, costs less than my Frappuccino. That's insane. That's America. And that's delicious.